Yeah, I can't wait for today, right? Yeah, should be good. This would be amazing. John, look. What's he doing? What makes him think he can just sit here and do that? Wait, babe, where are you going? Where am I going? What do you yeah. mean, where am I going? Can't you see there's somebody sitting and eating by our car? Yeah, I see that, but why are you going over there? Let's just wait for him to finish. Excuse me? Yeah, let's wait for him to finish. I'm sorry. I think I must have misheard you. For a second there, it sounded like you were telling me to stop and not confront that man. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. But why? He's sitting by our car and we have some place to be. Why are you stopping me? M Melissa, relax, okay? The guy's only eating by our car. How long could it possibly take? We can just wait until he finishes. But why? We have a function to get to and I don't want to be late. Plus, you expect us to just stand in the sun because there's a beggar by our car? Yes, Melissa, I do. What is wrong with you? When in your life have you ever seen a car owner standing outside just because there's a beggar eating by it? Who does that? Melissa, stop. How could you think like that? How could you even say those words? Like, just because he's homeless doesn't make him less of a human than us. Oh, really? How so? Because from where I sit, that's exactly what I see. Okay, listen. You and I, we can eat whenever we want, wherever we want. But he can't. Would you choose to eat outside in the sun in the shade of a car? No. Why? Because you have better options. People are always attracted to their best options. But this guy, he's eating by a car. So this means he probably don't have a better place to eat. Doesn't that do something to your heart? Okay, I know this is uncomfortable for you. And yes, we have an event to get to. But babe, sometimes certain people in certain situations, it's worth being laid over. You know what? Just do what you want, okay? It doesn't look like my talking's gonna change much. We'll just wait outside and wait for the beggar to finish eating. <laughs> Not exactly the response I was hoping for, but I'll take it. Let's just wait until he finishes. Okay, good, look, he's done. Let's go, let's go. Wait, what are you doing? Why are you approaching him? Babe, we, we can't just let him go like that. Hi, sir, sir, excuse me. Hi, I'm John, uh, uh, please. This, here, this is for you. But. So, why are you like that? Why do you inconvenience yourself to make others happy? Um, I don't know. I don't really see it as inconveniencing myself. I see it as giving a helping hand. My parents, they always taught us to never turn away a person who genuinely needs help. Even if we can't provide what they need, they taught us to always be kind. Even if we don't have the resources to help. Well, that's a bit different from what I was taught. I was taught to always look out for myself because the world is an evil place full of a lot of evil people. Yeah, the world is an evil place filled with a lot of evil people, but if everyone was cynical because of that, the art of being a good person will become lost. Okay. There will always be poor people who need help. And like I said earlier, just because you're poor doesn't make you less of a human. And as much as I want to, I can't help every poor person that I meet. That's an unrealistic idea. But at least I can be kind. So today, this was me being kind. Okay, I get it. Although I still think it was too much. You had me standing outside while a beggar enjoyed our car. Another delay. Uh, just let me check who it is real quick. It's Sandra, the secretary. Maybe it's important. Okay. Hey, sir. This is Sandra. Are you okay? Where are you? Is Melissa fine? Yes, relax. We're good. What's going on? Oh, thank God. We were worried. We thought you were caught in the blast. Blast? What, what blast? Well, an oil tanker caught fire and exploded on the highway here. About 15 people are thought to have died due to the explosion and dozens more are being rushed to the hospital. You're late, so we thought you were caught in the blast as well. We were worried when we saw the news. Wow, when, when did this happen? About 10 to 15 minutes ago, sir. It's a relief to hear from you, sir. I will let everyone know you're okay. Okay, Sandra, please do. And thanks for the call. And for the heads up. You're welcome. Glad to know you're okay. Did you hear that? Yeah, every word. I can't believe it. You might have just saved our lives. No, that man did. The beggar? Well... I guess you're right. Wait, where'd he go? We've only been here for a few minutes. We should still be able to see him, right? 
What if he wasn't human? What do you mean? My mom used to sometimes talk about how we interact with angels unknowingly. What if he was an angel sent to protect us? To protect you? But why would an angel come as a beggar, though? Perhaps because he knows your heart. He knows that you would do whatever it takes for someone in need. Remember how earlier when you approached him, he didn't say a word? He didn't allow any physical contact. He just smiled, thanked you, and left. Hmm. Yeah, think about it. I guess you're right. Even if he was just an ordinary man, you taking the time to be kind to him, rather than just shooing him like I intended, could have just saved our lives. Well, like my grandpa always used to say, a good deed is never wasted. I think I understand you now. I'm sorry about all the nagging. Sometimes I don't understand myself and seeing you all positive just gets to me, but I'll do better. <laughs> all right, you'll still nag though. <laughs> I give it less than an hour. Hey, I will shock you. I look forward to it. And babe? <laughs> yeah. Please don't ever change, right? No matter how much I may nag in the future, the world needs kind people like you. And I'll do my best to become a better person, to be more like you. No, we will try to be better people together. Melissa and John are thankful that their lives were saved by this mysterious homeless man. They later found out the explosion on the 405 freeway was caused by aliens attacking the planet. Not a conventional thing to happen on this planet Earth, but it happened in their story. John went on fighting in the military and he ended up saving the planet from the alien attack. He did lose his right arm, but years later he was able to get a bionic one installed. Remember to have patience in your life. Be grateful and have gratitude for what you have. And if you're watching today's video, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.